Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in today. We are going to be doing a two-part series on inspired action. So this video, we're going to lay the groundwork for what is inspired action. How do you recognize it? Those kinds of things. Because part two, we will show you inspired action in the flesh. So you don't want to miss that. Trust me, you want to be tuned in for that because when I saw, when I heard, and I saw it, I was like, the first thing Arthur said to me was, ooh, inspired action, there's your next video. And I was like, okay, then let's do it. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and click on the little gray bell so that you are notified when I post new videos so that you are in the know. You know, we got to keep that learning up, right? <laughs> so... And also, you can check out my podcast, too. I'll post a link below so that we can do that. Um, the question I keep getting for my podcast is, are you going to do, like, nighttime ones if I can't sleep and I can listen to it? I'm like, sure. So, you see, inspired action. Now, forgive me when I read my notes. <laughs> but I want it to be on point because you know how Joshua is. Joshua has that clipboard out. And he's like, this is what we're going to do today. Inspired action. What is inspired action? Inspired action is any action that truth causes you to take. Truth is a knowing of something. That's my interpretation. Um, I'll come back to what truth is, but you get a sense of it. When you, when you hear the truth or when you experience the truth, that's the word that's better. When you experience the truth, you can't dispute it. And truth is such that it cannot be disputed. And truth is usually silent. Truth won't beat you over the head and say, I am truth. No, truth doesn't do that. You see, truth is just there, sitting on the chaise lounge, reading the magazine. And she says, I'm just going to wait until you're ready. But truth is always there. So, inspired action is the action that truth causes you to take. Well, how do you know? How do you recognize inspired action? Well, it is an unexplained desire to do something that comes from within you. And that word is impel, I-M-P-E-L, to impel, because we've heard the other one, compel. When you compel somebody to do something, Here's an example of compulsion. Eat your peas. You're not leaving this table till you've finished your peas. That is compelling. You're forcing an action. Impel means I have to do this. I don't know why, but I need to do it. And it's like an invisible string that emerges from your heart and it just and there's nobody holding the string on the other end because you're not being forced to do something. You are following where the string leads you. Impel. What are some outcomes from taking inspired action? Well, all parties benefit positively. This is how you know you're dealing with the truth. The truth doesn't say, well, I'm going to elevate over here and diminish over there. No, all are elevated. Truth only elevates, you know. Mm. And it brings people together. And it also inspires other people. So let's recap, because that's today's video. Inspired action. What is inspired action? Inspired action is any action that truth causes us to take. How do you know and recognize inspired action? Well, it is an unexplained desire to do something that comes from within you. Nobody is standing over you saying, do this. No, you are simply driven to do it. And it comes from a place of unconditional love. You see it and you're like, I need to do something. All parties benefit positively. It brings people together and it also, it multiplies itself because it inspires other people. That's what the truth does. You see, the truth creates more truth. 
can't help itself. <laughs> you see? Because it expands always. Well, be sure to check in. Subscribe. Wait for that notification because I will be making part two because I must make part two. Now that you have an understanding of inspired action, we're going to see inspired action in action. What? Yes, we are. So that we can start to see inspired action in our own lives. So pay attention for that. Pay attention, you know, because my father always says, oh, I followed my gut. Inspired action comes from within you. And how you can test it, is this going to hurt me? Is this going to hurt somebody else? You see how that works? All right then. Much love.